Welcome to the introduction to lacrosse using AllSport Pro. This video explains the process of creating a new game based upon the rules profiles, scoring a game, and setting fanfares. Open AllSport Pro using the icon on the desktop of your computer or tablet's home screen. Log in to the AllSport Pro application using the username and password provided to you by Dactronix. If you do not have this information, contact your system's administrator or Dectronic support. AllSport Pro uses pre-configured rule files when creating a new game. Select the main menu icon in the top left corner and choose Rules to configure your rules profile. Pre-installed profiles cannot be changed, but items can be copied within this menu to create new customized profiles. Select one of the existing lacrosse profiles and choose Copy. Edit settings as desired for periods and clocks, timeouts, horns, and advanced. Choose Save once a profile has been set to the desired settings. To start a new game, open the menu using the main menu icon and select Games. You can open a game that has already been created or click Add New to start a new game. The Create Game window guides users through the options required for a new game. A custom name for the game may be entered in the window at the top. Choose lacrosse for the sport, then select the appropriate rules file for your level of completion, and finally select the scoreboard to be used, then choose Create. Once the game has been opened, set the home and guest team names using the three dots menu next to each team name and choosing team settings. Users can set a team name and a team short name. For in-game operation, the period will initially be set to pre-game. Use the three dots menu in this section to advance the period throughout the game. Start the clock by choosing the play button next to the game clock. Once the clock has been started, the play button will become a stop button. Use the three dots menu above the clock time to edit the game clock or shot clock time manually. You can also use the reset icon to reset the shot clock back to the default set in the rules profile. Use the scoring keys under the home and guest scores to increment scores. Double click within the score box to manually adjust scores or use the three dots menu to open manual score entry. Additional team stats including timeouts, shots on goal, saves, Face-offs and ground balls can be incremented by clicking the stat or using the three dots icon next to each stat category. Penalties can be entered by selecting the Penalties tab and entering the player's jersey number. The duration of the penalty can be set by selecting Duration and choosing the penalty type and time from the drop-down menu. To remove a penalty, select the trash can icon and confirm in the pop-up confirmation window. To add additional penalties, select the plus sign icon to create a new penalty. To set fanfares, which automatically play content on your display when certain scoring keys are hit, choose the Display Studio tab. Select the three dots menu and choose Configure to select your Display Studio tab container. The drop-down shows the container tabs that have been created in every Display Studio workspace. Selecting a tab will link the buttons on that tab to allow operators to quickly trigger Display Studio buttons from within the AllSport Pro program. Once a tab container has been chosen, select Enable Fanfare to enable the triggering of content through the scoring buttons. Choose the drop-down under Home and Guest Score to select the Display Studio scripting button you would like to trigger or leave the drop-down blank to remove a trigger. Once the desired triggers have been set, click Save. Now when those specific scoring keys are selected in AllSport Pro, the chosen content will automatically play. For manual play, selecting a button from the Display Studio tab will also trigger content to play on the display. If new buttons are added in Display Studio, select Refresh from the three dots menu to add those buttons into the Display Studio tab. The Horn tab has three buttons for the three types of horns that can be played if a horn system is connected to AllSport Pro. The Settings tab shows the scoreboard settings and, if available, dimming levels for the scoreboard may also be adjusted. To exit the game scoring mode, choose the main menu in the top left and select Leave Game. Selecting Leave Game from the pop-up will keep scoreboard in use for this particular game. Choosing Leave and Disconnect will disconnect the game from the scoreboard, making the scoreboard available for use in future games. Game scoring will be saved on the games page to allow users to continue scoring existing games or to take over scoring on another device. 
When a game is finished, it should be deleted before a new game can be displayed on the scoreboard. Select the checkbox next to the finish game and click the trash can icon to remove the game. In the confirmation box, click confirm to permanently delete the game from the system. This concludes the introduction to lacrosse using AllSport Pro. Continue to other videos for information on sport-specific game operation.